ready for your breakfast? Huh? You ready? I put it up here, but you'd hop down already. So let's move you. Woke up this morning and it's still breezy out here. I don't think it's going to get less breezy until after that. Tropical storm, hurricane, whatever, the cold, till it passes. Hi. Here you go. Good morning. Good morning. I haven't seen Morris yet. Got a Marty and a Stripe, though. Hey, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Ruby's making some serious noise in those leaves. Well, it's not as cold as it's going to get this weekend, but it's definitely colder today. And wow, look at that tree. Most of the leaves are down now. Yeah, maybe after this weekend we get a few gusts, we'll be a little bit better shape. Kitties are all happy this morning. You waiting on me to come back in? Thought I heard the air compressor. Don's got out the one he doesn't have to hang around for. I knew we forgot something this weekend. Thanks for remembering before it came, the light came on. Right. I wouldn't have been a happy girl. No, I couldn't remember. I kept telling myself Sunday, there's something else little we were gonna do. There's something else little we were gonna do and I just forgot. Yeah. I'm putting a little air in the tires, getting them hopefully at, uh, very close to where they need to be. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Ruby. You can see over here where they were working on the sidewalk yesterday. It looks like they finished up except for it drying and removing the back barrel. So hopefully it won't slow down traffic today. Although um, I'm sure they'll just move to another spot. <laughs> Ruby says it's 49. It's only going to be 64 today, so we'll definitely feel cooler for our morning walk, especially since there's a breeze. This is our last trip into Raleigh for the week. Um, tomorrow is a holiday. My understanding is for both SAU and um, Wake County and then uh, or special but they're off for a special reason. I can't remember. I think for SAU it might be reading day. And then Friday, of course, is Veterans Day, and everybody is out, so last trip downtown this week, which we all really need, either for sleep or, Johnny's case, sleep and extra time to work on end of semester projects. You can see the area that they're getting ready to pave leading up to the bridge, but there's actual asphalt that's been put down closer to the bridge. both sides. This Ford has a sticker with a camera on it that says I may snap at any time. <laughs> Very cute. Well, I don't have autopilot again this morning. I'm a little surprised um, that the error has gone from happening like once every two weeks to I don't think I had autopilot at all yesterday and now I don't have it this morning. I had the service appointment for today, but I moved it to Monday the 21st, right before Thanksgiving. So, however, part of the consideration there besides the schedule um, was that if I can't recreate it, I don't think they can fix it. So, if we have now moved to it's a solid fail failure, that should be easier for them to address. So. Um, I'm just missing autopilot this morning, wishing I had it. I am going to try to reboot Ruby before I travel back home when I stretch at St. Monica's. Um, I don't really expect that to do anything because having gone through a charging cycle, that usually fixes a lot of issues, um, resets some things, so, um, but I can try. It won't hurt to try. 
We're actually a little late getting across town this morning. Ruby says 7.33. I don't think I can recover that time at this point. Sorry, Johnny. Unfortunately, rebooting Ruby did not bring autopilot back. So, yeah. Just wanted to let you know. Keep on admiring the foliage, the trees, the leaves. It's a really pretty Japanese maple back there a couple blocks ago. It had turned a beautiful golden yellow. <laughs> I'm home, obviously, and Don's tied up on a conference call, so I don't know if we're going to get to walk or not. I'm going to blow some leaves for a few minutes. And the front yard and the driveway are much better. I did not finish the cul-de-sac. I ran out of battery up there. And uh, I sort of did the boardwalk. Tux and Marty had left for a minute. But they're back and I don't want to scare them off right now. So I didn't try to do here. It only takes a couple of minutes. When we move the plants under the house and we kind of don't want the cats underfoot, I'll blow over here again. I'm not scaring you off twice in one morning though. Yeah, not to mention I already refilled all the water bowls back here this morning and if I blow, I will uh, have to clean them again. So I don't want to do that right now. Two seven amp hour batteries is enough work for this morning. All down the fort and the bench is big enough for the two of you without me in the middle separating you I blew for an hour and my watch only gave me 10 exercise minutes I'd be ticked somebody's excited to come to the park <laughs> Well, it's nice we were late today because we chatted with one mom and her stroller um, that we hadn't seen in a while. She's walking later. The baby's about to turn one asleep for her this morning, so that's good. Also, walking after 10 today means the new Pokemon event rolled in. Although this event is trying to kill us because... Yeah, they put Guzzlord out in five-star raids and a... Uh, special thing to do a walk six kilometers is it six no eight eight seven seven excuse me seven kilometers basically it gave us nine days to do it that should be no problem for me but I got to do it on three accounts Basically, any hope I had for trees left and buffers has mostly been, um, you could just wait a second, Mr. Truck. Jeez. Has been, um, yeah, it ain't happening. I mean, it might be happening back along the trail, but not up at the road or really between the homes on either side. Oh, thank goodness. I've got autopilot back for the afternoon trip in. Yay! I was really getting good at it again because I was having it so regularly, you know, using it a lot. At least the highway stack outside the city, going straight down the road applications, I was using it all the time again. gorgeous out there today. Don and I are going to try to put the tropical plants and statuary stuff underneath the house this afternoon. 
he can get off not later than four. That ought to leave us enough time to do that. I vote three. That way it's a little sunnier and warmer. <laughs> but four will work. We're home. <laughs> That's Colin Stripe, not you, cute boy. Um, Don and I are fixing to put the plants under the house and the statuary under the house. So, um, he's not quite done with his conference call yet, but I was going to start carrying things to the door, the statues to the door, and pulling out the pots I need him to get the hand truck for, and oh, all that good stuff. Oh, you got a scratch. It's itchy. <laughs> Aw, he doesn't have fleas. He does get uh, itchy ears though. Have to watch his ears. This is something that Don dislikes more than actually planting a plant in the ground. It's close. It's close. It's close. But I've got everything pulled out and cleared away and organized this year. So the three, the, the ficus, the chefalera, the rubber tree, they go in first so they can go at the back because they're the biggest. And we're doing this today because Friday we're supposed to have an inch of rain and the last thing Don needs is for the pots to be any heavier. Don will be happy that's cleaned out a little bit. <laughs> um, he's got the ficus and the chefalera rubber tree next. The chefalera was very top heavy. I did tell him to smile for me before I hit record. I love you. Yeah, that's right. You love me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> Johnny came out and did a few trips up the stairs with fragile things and uh, stretched his legs. And uh, we're getting there. All right. There's all the plants. Don loaded them up the best that he can. He said the chefalera is so big, there's just about not room for anything else. Although I tell him a lot of the things we moved down here, like the impatient um the begonias i'm not trying to uh, save them it's just that the pot is fragile and i don't want to leave it out so and there's water here see the hose line don installed for me so i can come down here over the winter and keep them watered they'll do better if i actually come down and do that and yeah, don had to get out the riding lawn mower and the card and the chipper shredder and all that stuff out of the way so we had clear access he uh aired up all the tires with the little Ryobi before he pushed everything back in there. Probably still have to air it up the next time we use it, but it made getting it all in the in there easy, all rolling like it's supposed to. That's right. And I'm all into easy. 